my name is Ellie and I'm a pattern addict. I did it again, y'all. I did it again. <laughs> if you would like to see a mega, 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 mega 99 cent Hobby Lobby new look sewing pattern haul, grab some tea. This is going to be a long one. You, you need a couple of snacks for this one. Stay tuned. Let me take a sip of tea. Myself, because my allergies have been a mess. Okay, well, welcome. I am Ellie. If you are ret returning, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. If you are a new um, viewer or subscriber, thank you. Welcome. We are here to discuss all things sewing, all things thrifting, and a little chit chat here and there <laughs> as things come up. So the first step to recovery is acceptance, you guys. I have accepted that, and this is no judgment, no judgment to anyone in the sewing community. We're, we're all in the same boat, but I have accepted that I am a collector hoarder. <laughs> I watch hoarders so I can keep focus because the we're 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 tiltering, you know, it's collector hoarder the line <laughs> the, the line is disappearing and they're merging together. Um so I was watching Shatoka J, one of my favorite YouTube subscribe um not YouTube subscribers, YouTubers. I love her videos. And you know, I was actually in the parking lot, had just dropped my son off to school, and her video came up and it, I just quickly looked at the title. It said 99 cent um pattern haul or mega pattern haul, something like that. So as soon as I found out from her that Hobby Lobby was doing a 99 cent new look pattern haul, and instead of going home, like I initially, I was, I said I was like, I actually said I was going to exercise. I said I was going to go straight from his school to go do like a three mile walk and get ready for the day. <laughs> As soon as I got the news, yeah, we had to make a U-turn and um, go to Hobby Lobby because it was only six minutes from where I was. I was just like, well, I might as well go now, you know, versus waiting later, right? That that makes total sense to go now, right? <laughs> and so, so I, you know, no judgment, you guys. This is just the diary confessions of a sewing pattern collector. Order. Um, so yeah, got in Hobby Lobby. I'm looking for new look sewing patterns. I remember Shatoka said that they were in the back, um, in the clearance section, and I was just like kind of wandering around aimlessly. Then I seen oh, a um, man that worked for the store asked him, he knew exactly what I was asking for, took me over. And I'll inject some footage right here. <laughs> so as I came up on the patterns, they had took them out the drawers and they placed them in the clearance section, like kind of, um, I, I can't really explain it. You'll see in the video, but it was just like, okay, I just, I guess I'll just <laughs> look at all the patterns. So yeah, I had a blast. <laughs> What was supposed to be about a 15 to 20 minute trip was more like 45 minutes, an hour, because I literally just put every pattern that I liked, not love, but liked or loved in my um, cart. And then from there I had filled up 
<laughs> my little basket yeah i had filled up my basket it was heavy <laughs> it was heavy so i was like you know okay so let's come to our senses because ellie we are we are not we are not <laughs> going to buy all these patterns we're not so i created a i sat down where the catalogs were for you know when you look at the the regular sewing patterns and i created a pile one for maybe you know another pile for absolute no and another pile for absolute yes so that really helped me because my maybe pile was the actually the biggest pile my no pile I mean, you you already know it was the smallest, and my yes, and my yes pile was the absolute. I love this pattern. I'm going to sew this pattern in the near future, pile. So, with that being said, I ended up I put up like back probably half of the patterns that I had. I guarantee you, I probably had I probably had over sixty patterns, and I put about 30 of them back for sure because I ended up buying 36 patterns which was really good for me because I had already in my head that I can't go over 40 patterns I was just like okay 40 patterns a dollar each I am not spending over $50 on patterns that I do not need number one and that I did not even know existed <laughs> until this morning so I did really good. I got 36 sewing patterns, came home, and I'm ready to share. <laughs> so let's dive in. Um, first, thank you to Shatoka. Thank you, girl. I, I did not need to see your video, but because I did, we are here now. Um, <laughs> so I, I have never had this big of a bat of patterns. This is ridiculous, y'all. Like, like I wish I could show y'all like how big this bag is. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Everything is a new look pattern. I'll just be giving you the numbers. New look is um, how can I say it? probably the best pattern that they could have put on sale in this way because it's so much smaller than you know a simplicity or macaw can you imagine them putting like simplicity or macaws <laughs> whole stock out there for 99 like yeah we all would be buying 200 patterns <laughs> it would be a mess but new look is smaller so okay we have new look 6626 this pattern I actually got for the neckline. It just brings back nostalgia for me as a kid in the 90s. It has that elastic around the neckline. Um, I don't love it for any other reason, but that. <laughs> so I specifically got it for the neckline to make either shirts or dresses with that neckline because it's just very cute and very flattering. Next, we have McCall's six, uh, not McCall's, new look, <laughs> 66, 66. Um, this is my absolute favorite. It might be my favorite sewing pattern ever out of all the sewing patterns. I have made four of these, and I will definitely um, have pictures up here so you can see. I love this pattern. It's so me. It's like party it's like business in the front and party in the back because it is um it, it shows a little back you know it has to crisscross detail it has to scrap around it ha and you get to see the lower back as well it's really cute really dainty it's like she looks like she's going on a picnic but boom <laughs> with some spice and that's why I have made so many. I wear them not only bare in the spring and summer, but with long sleeve shirts, with turtleneck shirts. Um, when it's fall, winter, stocking, they're like perfect. Like year round, I love these. They're perfect for cotton blends. I have used Ankara for it as well. And that is probably my best one that I made for sure. Yeah, but that is my favorite. They only have one left. I already have one in my stash, but I said, why not get another one? 
um i apologize for my voice as well as i said my allergies are crazy um yeah so my voice will be going in and out as she chooses to go okay next we have 63.98 this is a kit sewing pattern it is vintage or vintage inspired i don't let's see i i doubt it it's like from the 90s but it is 90s inspired definitely yeah it came out 2011 but i'm pretty sure this was like supposed to look vintage because look at those kids clothes that's like that's like 95 all the way like that's what i was wearing in elementary school so yeah i love love this for my son if you don't know i have a four-year-old son who's brilliant and amazing and super cute and i don't sew for him as often as i could so i just said you know let me get that because i would love making some vintage inspired um clothing for him Okay, next we have 64.69. I love this. It has the raglan sleeve. Raglan sleeve wasn't my favorite initially, um, but I love it when it's like this. Like not as um, casual when you can dress it up, when it's not color blocked either. Like I probably would go for view A and view D because you could really make those look like luxurious, high-end, just sophisticated. So yeah, I love, I love this pattern for sure. Okay, and I'm surprised I had never seen it before. So we have 62-63, love it. It's so dainty, so cute. Of course, I'm going with view B as well as probably view c and view d i just don't like the the fabric they chose i would just keep it solid for both um i mean keep it the same fabric for both yeah and we're gonna move fast y'all because this is gonna be a super long video if not okay next we have 6229 this is very casual very much so not my style but i I was drawn to view C. I just love how you can color block that and have different colors or different textures of the same color. That just really drew me in. So yeah, I, I love that. I'm not sure how I would style it, but I do love it. I just love her whole vibe. Like, like look at her shades. She's got her hair in pigtails. Like she's a vibe. She's a look. <laughs> Okay, next we have 6733. This is a simple top. I do love the, um, I'm not sure what type of detail you would call that, but it has like crisscross detail. It has like the draping effect right here. I'm not sure of the official term you would call it, but I can see myself making both views for sure. Um, and it, you know being mindful of the fabric to make sure it pops and it's super cute so yeah okay next we have new look 6669 i actually put this in my maybe pattern my maybe pal at first because i wasn't um I don't know. I just kept coming in and out. I'm like, do I need it? Will I make it? Do I need it? Will I make it? <laughs> That's always the question. Do I need it? Will I actually make it? You know, do I need it? If I don't need it, but I want it, will I make it? Um, so she actually ended up transitioning to the yes pile because I just, I just could not ignore the dainty tie the ties at the top and it's a knit dress and that's rare to see i have patterns that are you know ties but they're woven so it's just like it's a knit dress the tie it was the ties for me just something about those ties that just got me in and it has pockets yeah so i would be interested to see that because i've never really seen that on a knit pattern 
Okay, next we have 6762. This is a wardrobe pattern. It has shirts, skirts, shorts. Um, no, it actually has, hold on. It has four, no, it has three different skirts pants and um a top i was drawn to these tops they're just nostalgic for me that thick um neckline right there was just yeah i i really did like that so yeah and i can see myself finding use with the skirts and the pants at some point just to make basics because as if you have been watching my videos, you will notice I constantly say I need to make more bases. I constantly make statements. I constantly buy statement pieces. I need more bases that I can wear day to day, which is why I actually picked up 6525 as well, because this is, isn't this adorable? Just the cutest baby doll dress, but with a flair because it has like the gathered, um, the actual like gathered layer right here added to the bottom of the dress. I just thought it was so cute. I mean, I could see myself definitely wearing that with some booties, <laughs> you know, and just, it's just so cute. It's so cute. So I was just, at, when I first seen it, I was like, oh, yes, 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 I'm getting it. <laughs> so yeah, cute, cute, cute. Okay, next we have, 6843. I keep wanting to say new, new look, you guys. 6843. This is a skirt pattern. So it has five different skirts. It has a pencil skirt, a mini skirt, a, um, that might be a bias cut skirt. Yeah, and an A-line skirt. Super cute. I can definitely find use with this. I love skirts in the fall and winter. That Well, short skirts anyway in the fall and winter. And I love longer skirts in the spring and summer. We have 6524. 6524 is really cute. Um, I love all views. If you notice, the sleeves are different on each one. I can say my favorite would probably be, ooh, that's tough. Would probably be A, B, or C, <laughs> honestly. Like I love, yeah, I love all of them. I love the yellow, like that might be my favorite one. I just love the detail of it. It's just nothing like a statement sleeve. It's nothing like a simple dress with a statement feature to it. And I just feel like with the fabric, you can elevate the look or you can make the look more casual, you know. So yeah, definitely had to get that one. Okay, next we have new look 6567. New Look 6567 saw this and I and I instantly thought, okay, <laughs> okay, it's going home with me. Specifically, this view, which is view A. I, like, they don't even make this neckline anymore. And as you can see, I'm drawn to patterns that have nostalgic um features to them like you will see this a lot in vintage style dresses um even the square neckline this neckline where it kind of goes inward towards the neck even this neckline where it has the v cut all of these necklines you rarely see anymore on dresses so when i saw this pattern i'm like yes Going home, just imagine like I can make how many? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're all different. I didn't know that. So all all eight dresses are eight different views. And I mean, that's eight different dresses <laughs> that have the same base, but just a different neckline. That would be like easy to do as like a, a kind of extended project if you're trying to make a wardrobe of dresses, maybe. 
a collection of dresses. So yeah, I just love that. It was only one left and I saw it and it just looks old. Like all of these say 2011, but does this look like 2011 to you? This is not what we were wearing in 2011. I was there, like we weren't wearing this. So I'm not sure. This just feel it feels like a reproduction. I just can't imagine this be to be trendy in 2011. That's just not that's not what we were wearing. But um yeah, so next we have 6518. And I love what the mall is wearing perfectly. Um, because of her pose, she's showing her, showing her stomach, but if she was not posing like that, your stomach wouldn't show from what I see. The pants are high-waisted, and quite honestly, if it did fit like a crop top on you, you can simply, um, elongate the, lengthen the, the top so that it goes over, so you're not showing any skin, or if you want to show some skin, you could do that too. You could shorten it. <laughs> So yeah, love that casual look. Definitely perfect for spring, summer, especially if you use like lightweight fabric. Next we have 65, 6509. Isn't this a look, y'all? Like, is that not a look? Like, I love um all the views, but I love the like side back action um i love vb view c view d uh i will probably just modify the shorts so they're not like super short but yeah if you look on the the um back you will see that it doesn't show your back it just it's just open on the sides yeah so I just love that. I love that it's simple and basic, but it has flair. That's like, that's like the thing I'm going for right now. <laughs> okay, so next we have New Look 6508. New Look 6508. I mean, I love, love her. If you look closer, you will see that there are buttons um, connecting the top to the bottom. And there is a small area of lower back revealingness. <laughs> if that's what you lower back cleavage, no, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> a lower back peekaboo. Um, right there. I love, I love the look. I love the look. Um, I would definitely extend the skirt. I'm not a short skirt girl in spring summer i just love wearing short skirts with tights so i would thin it's thin the skirt especially because the back is out i feel like okay you know it needs to be a little bit longer so that you know you can highlight the back and not have like legs and back um but yeah love it love it love it i can see myself making VC as well. It's just a longer version, so I probably would make VC. Yeah, so cute. So cute. Okay, let's stay focused. We we got a lot more, y'all. We got <laughs> we got a lot more. Okay, next we have new look 6483. New look 6483 is the simple tops pattern. It's just different tops. Well, it's just the same top with different sleeve alterations, or I wouldn't even say sleeve. I would say shoulder alterations as well, because some of the, like this one doesn't have much at the top. This one kind of goes in a little bit. This one is full shoulder, you know. So yeah, just different, um, different styles of one top which I can always use to add two different things. Like I would add it to a skirt that I like or, you know, add it to whatever to make a dress. Okay, next we have wrap skirts. I am going for what the model is wearing, view A. Do I like the rest of them? Um, I can see view D. It's just a shorter version of view A. Don't necessarily like the pockets 
pockets are my thing on skirts like that so yeah super cute vacation or staycation whatever you choose <laughs> Okay, next we have 6728. Love this dress. Love this dress. Um, yeah, I just just so cute. I love how it's kind of like the double. Um, what would we even call this? It's not elastic. It's like double case. No, it's not a casing either. I don't know, but you can see that detail. Really cute with the bow super cute i can see it being being used with lightweight fabrics for spring summer okay next we have new look 64.93 so new look 64.93 is a romper set at first i was a little intimidated by it because all of this I'm not a cleavage girl like that. I'm more so of a back, you know, girl. But um, I can modify it, like, so that it's not so low. I don't like the lowness of it. But that's what we are here for. We sew. We, we can create things, change things, make things from scratch, right? Quite honestly, patterns are just convenient. So, yeah. Okay, we have 6733. 6733 is a play suit. Super cute. I love what the model is wearing, wearing view A. I also love um, view B, which is the short set. And I love view C as well. Because, yeah, the pattern they used made it look more i thought it was like oh i could make that as a slip but i could make it as an actual dress to wear out depending on the fabric if the fabric is like creating a statement where it doesn't look like a slip <laughs> all right next we have 6743 this is just a really cute top i love the tie detail in the middle if you can see that i would make what the model is wearing um vb I'm not sure if I would make view A. It just depends. Okay. All right. And next we have New Look 6443. So this pattern definitely looks like it's from at least 20 years ago. Um, I'm pretty sure if I look at the year, it's going to say 2011 like the rest of them. I don't know why. But it is dated, but I see potential because I do um, need to make more um, slips. Like, I never thought I would say that. I thought it was crazy when my mom used to make me put on slips and like, what's the point of this? But I noticed that sometimes when I have things that are like sheer, you know, I need, I need something that I can wear underneath it. So I just got it for these two dresses quite honestly but i mean depending on the fabric they could actually really look good alone i do like view c as well i love the sleeves of course okay we're almost done you guys i was gonna split this video in half but we'll see so thank you so much for coming back you guys ellie here and we are back with part two of this mega new look 99 cent hobby lobby <laughs> pattern haul situation um so let's dive right in we have new look 6301 it is a wrap dress isn't she so cute i love the dress um i love the fabric fabric choice that they chose actually that's what drew me in it is a heavier fabric choice and i just love it because i'm like i could do fall winter spring summer with this pattern i definitely would go for this for you because i just love the sleeves just something about sleeves for me i just love sleeves next we have 6288 this is a skirt pattern it is um just a basic pattern it drew me in because if you i'll post a picture a while ago i bought a new look pattern that was a skirt pattern 
I opened the pattern and there, there was no skirt pattern. For some reason, they put a different pattern in the envelope, but it it had the number. I don't know. They messed up. <laughs> it had the number of the pattern. It was just not for a skirt. So I am ended up just free drafting a skirt pattern. And I saw this. I was like, well, maybe this time they'll get it right. I can definitely use this view and also um, this view as well. I'm not big on like splits and skirts unless it's like a a gown situation, but casual skirts, uh, I don't do splits. <laughs> but yeah, so we have $65.94. $65.94 is just a basic um basic pattern with a mid basic dress pattern with a midriff. Um, feature I'm going for this view right here it is just longer it's giving me vintage vibes quite honestly that's why I grabbed it I just love the look of it it just looks timeless and it looks like with the right fabric it would it would definitely be a look um that I would be going for okay we have new look 6491 new look 6491 is the perfect vacation look or or i'm just fancy like that i'm going to the grocery store look as well perfect for spring summer love the orange color on her drew me in i would make view a yeah and probably just view a quite honestly yeah i just love it and i love that i can um lengthen it because i dresses like that tend to be shorter on me because i am tall I'm 5'9", and us tall girls, we just struggle with, like, maxi anything because they make it long for the short girls. And for us, it's, like, up above my ankle. I can't do it. Like, I need it draping the floor <laughs> for it to make sense for me. Um, So, we have 67.94. This is a bathing suit pattern. I haven't made a bathing suit in a long time the last time i was making bathing suits i was not using patterns i was self-drafting everything <laughs> um so it'd be interesting to actually use a pattern to make a bathing suit it just drew me in i'm like why not so yeah grab it okay next we have okay next we have 6808 this is a basic shirt pattern. The only thing that does not make it basic is this collar detail. I love that. You should know why I love it at this point. It's giving vintage. It's giving nostalgia. I feel like it. I mean, even this one. I love that one. Yeah, I feel like with the right fabric, it would just be a pretty, pretty look. Very dainty, very girly yeah and even if i wanted to color block it that would add an extra appeal to it okay we have 6544 6544 is a skirt I switch hands 6544 is a skirt and pants pattern i was drawn to the pants i love pants that have a flat front i do not like pleats pleats i not pleats pleats <laughs> I prefer darts and I love that it has a side zipper as well. So yeah, very cute, very um, useful. I got tried to get useful patterns, you guys, in my wardrobe. Okay, this one is just so pretty. And I see that my of course, of course, you were waiting on me. So this is 6447. These patterns are a bit better. You can tell they have been in the drawer for quite a while. Um, but I try to grab the best one of whatever pattern I was grabbing. Some of them just had one though. 6447. If you can see, it has that pretty, really pretty um midriff detail that you can like really like do something with like contracting cra contrasting fabric i love how they chose to use the polka dots in the two different colorways to like create a look and that's similar to what i would do for sure i would definitely do 
something that has um, that same type of contrasting look. Love it. Yeah, I would probably only, I would do C and D, view C and D. Yeah. All right, we have, we have new look 6658. This is a basic top pattern. I just love the look of it. I feel like I want to make more things with linen, but I am getting intimidated by making things that, uh, are fitted because I've just heard too many stories of saggy bombs and saggy knees and just saggy. <laughs> so I can see myself using a linen with this because it's already flowy. It's not going to be stretched or under tension in any area. So yeah, that's why I got, got this one for sure. All right, next we have, we're getting down you guys. We have 6588. Insulin got this for my husband. I love um, the different styles that they have. I could definitely see myself making all of those different views. I had not seen that style in any male patterns that I've seen before. So I just definitely thought, and it's going, cool. I can make stuff for myself. But I'm trying to be less selfish and get a few things for my baby and my husband. So yeah, threw that in. I got him. Uh, one thing i mean two things okay here's another thing <laughs> okay so we got um 60 6197 this is actually coed as well i just love the style of it um my husband likes to wear this style of shirt i mean especially with the fabric i can make it super dope and you know yeah it's a look it's a look. I probably wouldn't necessarily wear it because I don't like short sleeve button downs, but I can definitely use this for him. And the last pattern. Oh, I do love this pattern. We have 6145 and I'm all for her. Like this view is everything. It's the neckline for me. It's giving um, a flight attendant in 1972. <laughs> like... It is giving that I've always wanted a dress that has this neckline. I, as far as the other dresses, I don't care so much. But if you see, I can see myself making this dress in multiple fabrics. And that's usually what I look for. If I'm not making all the views, I'm making the same dress over and over and over again in different ways. So I hope this video wasn't too long for you. Hopefully you were able to enjoy the patterns that I showed you. And yeah, it, I had a blast in Hobby Lobby. If you have not been, I'm sorry to influence you. Peer pressure. Go, go on to Hobby Lobby and get um those 99 cent patterns before they're done because you know what so it's all, all it takes is a couple of videos and before you know it, everyone's going and the patterns will be done with <laughs> so um yeah it is what is today it is wednesday april 10th so if you are watching this video around that time within you know a week or two of that time definitely go to Hobby Lobby and check out the patterns. I love to get some of the older patterns that I haven't seen before. Tell me in the comments how you feel about New Look. I know some people have never sewn with New Look. Some people um, don't favor New Look. I can say my favorite pattern is definitely from New Look, but I have a problem with their sizing. The sizing is limiting, but yeah, overall, I'm glad I found a lot of good patterns that you will be seeing soon. So until next time, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, night, week, month, year. <laughs> and I will see you soon. Peace.